Hello brothers and sisters. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam wa rasulullah. Now, a lot of you guys, I'd say about 70% of you, if you're Muslim on my, if, and you subscribe to me, you've been asking me a lot recently, when are you going to do your convert story? Well, this is going to be part one. Letting you guys know about my journey to Islam, how I first heard about Islam, and I am going to be doing this in parts. Also, if I post part one and then a non conversion video pops up and then part two comes after, don't worry, that's what I'll be doing because I just don't want to conversion part one, part two, part three, part four, or whatever, like all in a row. I want to kind of split it up. Um. So, guys, part one is going to be talking about how I first heard of Islam and stuff like that. So, the first time I heard about Islam was the first time and the anniversary of 9-11. I'd say about 60% of the world could actually say the same thing. If they were non-Muslim, that's when they first heard of Muslims or Islam. That's when I was first introduced to Islam through the media in a very negative way. Um, SubhanAllah, the next time, I kind of brushed Islam away, I didn't really care. I didn't really care. Um, by the way, I should have said this earlier, but um, I was born in a Christian Pentecostal home, Pentecostals like Baptist, and I was very religious. I would go to church, I would pray, I would like draw pictures of biblical stories based on the accounts of what I had read in the Bible, and I was very, I, I love reading the Bible. I have about seven Bibles, most of them King James and uh, Revised Standard Version. <laughs> But back then, you know, I was young, I'd read the children's version. I didn't know how God's word could have a children's version, but, you know, you would never think about that. You don't question your religion if your whole family is that certain religion. So, yeah, I'm just letting you know that's what I was. Um, the next time I heard about Islam or Muslims is when I was about eight years old. We were in a field trip to the art museum with my class. And a kid named Isa, which at that time I didn't even know, literally translated to Jesus. SubhanAllah, there was a picture of Isa, Jesus, alayhi salam, peace and blessings of God be upon him. And I said, hey, that's Jesus. And then Isa, who I did not know was Muslim at that point, he said, oh, you're Muslim? They said, no, I'm the opposite. They said, well, it's not the opposite at all. And then I'm like, how so? And then the teacher just kind of rushed us forward because we had to go to the buses. And I just had to kind of set that in my mind that somehow Muslims believed in Jesus. Which later just escaped my mind. It just got out of my mind. It's it just I totally forgot about that. So those are the first two times that I was majorly... Um, heard about Islam. When I was in grade 6, the majority of my middle school, because in Canada, grade 6 was brought into middle school, was Muslim. I'd say about 50 to 60 percent. Which, for Canada, that's quite a big number. And, and you know, Muslims, they submit to Allah. We submit to Allah, so obviously you're going to talk about Islam quite a bit. And at lunchtime, sometimes they'd have debates on what's going on in the Muslim world, all oh, this Khalifa starting, stuff like that, and I was really confused. And then, one time, and then I just kind of heard the discussions, I didn't ask or anything. Then grade 7 came, when, um, it was really interesting, we were just talking about religion at lunch, me, one of my friends, and... Uh, another friend of Deeb and another friend of G, and we were just talking about it. 
And, um, and indeed, one of my friends said that, well, you know that there are scientific things in our holy book, and things, and our holy book hasn't been changed, unlike the Bible, and we have this special water, holy water, called Zen Zen, and I'll make a video on that too. And I was like, what does science have to do with religion? They're like, totally separate. And, subhanAllah, then, it really soaked. I have gotten the message of Islam. I had received it 100%. But I haven't learned everything. I've just been taught some grade 1 things about Islam. So that was just uh, very, very basic. So I just heard the word Islam, miracles, science, Jesus. That's basically it. But then I started to question what Christianity is a faith. And Allah, um, I just started questioning Christianity, learning about religion. And one of my teachers at the school, he had a book by his desk called Basics of Islam. Is it really what you think? And I picked it up and read it. I was kind of embarrassed. I didn't want anybody to know, but some people still saw me and I just kind of pretended that they didn't see me and I just kind of read the book and I learned a lot I learned about some peaceful verses that the media would never tell me some great teachings such as justice how if you're in war you can't hurt trees or animals or kill innocents to give charity to fast to pray five times a day some really really cool stuff that was almost nothing to me but a couple days later, subhanAllah, it really, really got in my head. And I just had, it, wallahi, it was a miracle. Allah blessed me with just, just wanting to learn about Islam, just needing it. I started researching about an hour a day. And the first thing I learned is that the Bible had been changed. And that was a big shock to me, because, you know, Christians are taught as children that the Bible is the Word of God. Well, the Word of Man, but inspired by God. But, um, the evidence didn't support that. The evidence had supported the opposite side, that it wasn't the Word of God or anything like that. And I learned some other really, really weird things about the Bible. I learned about the Council of Nicaea that almost disproves modern Christianity. And then, I started reading the Quran online and it was very very interesting for me I I couldn't get off the tab I just had to keep on reading it and it was beautiful and um, later on I learned about the uh, that Muslims believe in Jesus and their view on it and their view on it was more Christian than the Christian view on it, which is ridiculous, because Christian comes with the word Christos, to follow, and Christ. That's why Christology is researching and teachings of Jesus Christ. So a Christian is somebody who follows the teachings of Christ. And truly, it's a Muslim. Christians don't follow Jesus. They eat bacon. Some of them don't get circumcised. They drink alcohol. They don't follow it. Muslims do. They follow the rules that Jesus set them. So, I learned that, and it was a big shock. But then I had a problem. I had to tell my parents about this. Like, I might be switching to a whole different religion. And I can't just pray five times a day without them knowing. I had to let them know that I was researching for this. But I held it in for a little longer than I should and I continued to research. For about three months straight, for an hour or two hours a day, I would look into the miracles of the Holy Quran. And I'd make sure all the possibilities of who it could come from, is this really scientific or is this just vague, is there any special words that they use that nobody would use at the time and I learned about embryology in the Quran some amazing Allahu Akbar some amazing prophecies in the Holy Quran 
Subhanallah, it was so beautiful to find out. And I was all about evidence. And if I heard of a book, I wanted to make sure it was true if it said it was the Word of God. First of all, the Bible doesn't even say it's the Word of God. So why would you say it's the Word of God and act like it's the Word of God? The Quran does make this statement, so you should research to what makes you think it was the Word of God. So I looked in some of the I looked in to the miracles of the Holy Quran and subhanAllah Wallahi there are hundreds of miracles, whether it be prophecies, historical miracles, scientific miracles, repetition miracles. And subhanAllah, I felt very happy about this. And at that point, about six months of research, I fully received that the Quran is the word of God, Allah. So then, I realized the Bible wasn't. So at that point, I realized the Quran was the word of God. Then I researched what makes Muhammad a prophet, peace be upon him. And I realized that he was predicted in all the scriptures. So stage one, stage two was already set, Quran and Muhammad. I just needed to learn about Allah and learn, you know, cool who Allahu Ahad, Allahu Sama, Nam Yalad wa Lam Yalad, Allahu Yakubahun Ahada. That is Surat al Ikhlas in the Holy Quran. Say, Allah, He is one, He is eternal. He is not begot, nor has He begotten. And He is the sustainer. I looked into the 99 names of Allah, and that is exactly what I believed about God. So at that point, you could almost agree a hundred percent i was technically a muslim i believed everything and this was about three quarters i'd say half a year of grade seven so i was only 12 at this time so subhanallah allah has really really blessed me 